Our intro music is provided by Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com. The views, opinions, and representations expressed on the Night Dreams Talk Radio Network and its website are those of the hosts, guests, and participants, and are not necessarily those of or endorsed by the network, its affiliated stations and broadcasts, the management, other hosts, or advertisers of the network. The shows found on the Night Dreams Talk Radio Network can, but do not necessarily, promote any particular lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practice. These shows are for entertainment purposes only, and are not intended to treat, diagnose, and or claim any cure of disease or condition, or give any medical or legal advice. You are listening to Night Dreams Talk Radio Network, from our compound to you worldwide, with your host, Gary Anderson. Well, here it is, Friday already. I can't believe this week has gone by so freaking fast. Well, tonight we got Dale Lyons. He's going to be talking about Bigfoot and all that stuff. Go get yourself a nice cup of java. Find a nice easy chair, maybe next to a nice fire. Because tonight we're going to be talking Bigfoot and more right after this. Please check out the Night Dreams Talk Radio website at www.nightdreamstalkradio.com. Also, if you want to keep our show free of advertising, just hit the donate button. Give a buck or two. Remember, all prior shows are always free to listen to. We at Night Dreams Talk Radio thank you for your support. Well, here it is. Dale, how are you doing tonight, my friend? I am doing good, Gary. How are you? I'm doing good, but I got a funny feeling you vape, don't you? Yes, I do. I'll try to keep that away from me. I heard that a couple of times. Yay, it's bad for you. You know, it's bad for your lungs. Indeed it is. <laughs> so, what have you been up to? It is. What have you been up to, Dale, uh, since the last time you've been on Night Dreams Talk Radio after dark? Well, you know, uh, I've uh, kind of taken taken uh, this adventure I've uh, been on for the last few years uh, and and really trying to put some time into it and and uh, my page of course you know which is Squatchville the Bigfoot Amphitheater but uh, I'm really trying to uh, bring observation and awareness to uh, to a world that isn't recognized uh, in our reality, and that's uh, another dimension, or other dimensions, of Mother Earth, you know, and and uh, I think it's something that's going to become relevant uh, in the relatively near, near future. I, uh, I, I cannot say exactly when, but I believe that's the purpose of my page, is to... Uh, start bringing observation and understanding uh, to some of these beings and creatures that are uh, either interdimensional or live in another dimension uh, that they have, uh, they, I mean, whoever is uh, overseeing this project, because it's not just me that uh, that can be taken credit for, for what's uh, witnessed on my page, and you know, here of late, some of it has gotten really, uh, um, really difficult for some people to get their heads around, you know, and and uh, but I feel like if I'm not asking all the questions and and bringing things uh, to uh, observation, then maybe I'm just. I'm not doing my job right, you know. Oh yeah. Um, you know it's uh when when uh whoever it is, aliens, the Sasquatch, whatever, uh, start putting uh pictures on your videos and stuff. You know, you it uh it's hard to wrap your brain around some of these things, you know, and cause you know, it sure, certainly wasn't in front of you when you started the video, you know? And, uh, 
And and that's the kind of thing that's going on in my life when when I'm up in, in this area, you know. And Well what area roughly are you in? It's in the Willamette National Forest. Okay. And uh and uh it's you know around oh kind of the uh uh Fall Creek area, uh, uh, that that in that section of the woods, but there is a, it's a big section of woods. Oh yeah, it stretches all the way back to uh, the Three Sisters Wilderness. So it's a huge area. You know, one thing I will say: last night I had Samantha Ritchie, and you know we were talking about Bigfoot. Uh, and, you know, little people and stuff like that. She's got actually some really strange images, again, where she didn't really even see. Uh, she was ta- just taking pictures, and all of a sudden, when she went back and reviewed them, uh, he, you know, there was a Bigfoot. There was uh, uh, another, like, uh, other type of uh, cryptics that would peer up in some of her pictures in her area. And I've seen some of those, and it's really hard to explain, you know, what is going on. Is it happening through maybe time slips? Is it happening going through a portal? Uh, which I kind of feel like there's portals and, and where these, you know, cryptics can come in and out. I don't know how you feel about that, Dale. I, I think there is something to the portals. I, I really do. But I think it's more than that also, and... And maybe it's it could be defined kind of like a uh, uh, a veil, if you will, um, in between dimensions. I don't, you know, I, it's it's really hard to define that. But until you actually see something going from right in front of your eyes and walking off and disappearing right before your eyes. Can you only appreciate it? Oh yeah. That's what you know, Samantha was saying that she's had that happen to her where she has seen a Bigfoot and it kind of, you know, like the, the movie predator, how those aliens, yeah, you know, exactly. kind of like cloak themselves. Uh, she said that that's kind of what she has seen. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And I have, I have, uh, I have the photos also, you know, and, and for, uh, you know, for many researchers, it, it, it drives them crazy to try to understand these photos, you know. But when you're dealing with something in another dimension, it, it, it seems that these, uh, this host of, of beings and creatures are, are able to manipulate things and the way we perceive things, uh, in in photos or videos, uh, shoot, you know, I've heard them stomping around me, like, and it had to be within a couple of feet, and you cannot see what it is, you know, and it's huge. It's ma- it's making you move as you're standing there, and and. Uh, so that's what we're dealing with, and I think that we're coming to a point in science where it, it's uh, it's going to be uh, understood more. I think you know the uh, that what's it called the uh, collider thing and stuff. You know, it's just bringing a lot of evidence to many things right now. Um, there's uh, uh, gentlemen, I'm sure you know the name uh, Ron Moorhead. Oh, he's been on the show. And, yes, yeah, he's a he's been around for quite a while, you know. But he uh, he talks about uh, the quantum Sasquatch. This is a uh, a theory that many are uh, having a hard time coming to grip with, but I think it's very relevant when we're talking about interdimensional creatures. And I think that when Bigfoot is proven, it will be proven, they will be proven in that sense and of the sense of them physically being proven, but also 
understanding more of what's around us in this world. Yeah, I just kind of wonder also about the, I, again, a lot of reports that I've gotten from people that they shape shift. Now, also, have you ran into any of that situation? How do you feel about that? I've seen so many crazy things that I, I, I can't, I can't rule it out. You know, I was, uh, uh, this, uh, other gentlemen I'd taken up into my area when this all began for me, you know, I, uh, had all these, uh, oh, it was a crazy day, but, you know, I had all these crows and stuff just launched. It seemed like it was, it looked like a scene out of, uh, out of an Alfred Hitchcock movie. And, uh, these Sasquatch were, uh, imitating, crow calls and it sounded like they were like you know 500 pound crows doing this you know and so i know that it's not a real crow it's projected towards me almost so loud i could almost feel it and you know uh but but it got all these crows riled up around me and you know Hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds launched up from where they they roosted around my head, you know. I'm like looking up and I have my vape pipe in my, uh, my vape thing in my hand. I'm looking up and my mind is blown, you know. I'm like, whoa. Well, I have this uh, video, okay, of, of this, these weird clouds that show, show up. Right after I get done telling uh, my buddy who I took up there, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> drink here. Hey, also, if you, if you're a little nervous, it's nothing to be nervous about. You're just talking to be, between me and you. Just you think we're we're sitting on the couch from each other and just talking right. about Bigfoot. So <laughs> just just remember that. Exactly, I am a little wound up. I'll. I'll I'll relax after a bit here. Okay, but this video, uh, I start taking right after I get done telling my friend about this crow experience. Now, that very day, something charged me that I couldn't see, but it was huge, huge, beyond, bigger than, bigger than an elephant. You know, it was massive, like, it felt like T-Rex or something coming towards me. And, you know, I'm like, whoa. Anyways, I...